to the Weather Watch now and a live look at the skies over downtown. A haze hanging in the city and even it seems a little darkness, some gray coming in as well. Yeah, let's check back in with Mary Kay. Boy, quite a uh, mm -hmm. fun busy. afternoon. Busy, busy. We love it when it's busy, but thank goodness we don't have any reports of significant damage. But you notice those high clouds, that's actually cool, stable air coming off the lake and that helped kind of break down this system from holding together and that's why now all warnings have expired. But I want to give you this gorgeous view of the whole front that's going to be moving through for us early tomorrow morning. You can clearly see the rotation with low pressure up here in the Dakotas and a beautiful looking trail here on the satellite review. Well defined from Minneapolis to Omaha to Wichita. But as this crosses through, it's going to create some high wave action. And it's that time of year when our water temperature is still pretty nice in the upper 60s near 70. But we could see those high waves and some lakefront flooding. Where? Well, Lake and Cook County, the north eastern Illinois beaches for high waves and strong rip currents as we go through the night because of those ramping up ahead of the front and waves building three to seven feet. So that goes through tomorrow morning. That's going to be one culprit of this front as it comes through. Good news coming on radar. Finally, our severe threat for the moment is over. That cell we were tracking into DeKalb dying down now. We see a little pop up variety here in LaPorte County, but nothing of significance showing up with lightning as we head up into Lake County. That's where we have maybe a more concentrated area of a downpour from Lake Forest. Also, Moraine, you know, that whole area by Libertyville, we could see some rain, but nothing in our lightning detection feature, which is good news. What I'm really looking at is the main front itself cutting through Iowa, up through Minneapolis, and also western Wisconsin. All around us, there's a lot of watches tonight to the north from Kenosha County North, a flash flood watch because we have the slow movement of this front. So you could see those repeating or training thunderstorms in the same place place tonight across much of Wisconsin. Tornadic activity expected here in this yellow area just south of Minneapolis into La Crosse and then a severe thunderstorm watch for this part of the boundary that's going to be moving through Iowa. That's until 10 o'clock tonight. So it looks like these areas are going to see the focus of that through 10 o'clock. For us then we turn our attention to the overnight. That's when we see those showers and storms with us. Could be a loud night in spots as that front comes through, but it looks like we're going to stay ahead of the front right 2 a.m. 4 a.m. because I see those southwesterly winds. It's going to take until early tomorrow after the sun comes up to see the front pass. Right now we're dealing with that stationary front. Here's that cloud deck that Brad and Erica were talking about coming off the lake. We have wind off the lake pulling in some cooler and more stable air. Thank goodness for that because that is also keeping things in Chicago a little quieter than we've seen. But wow, dew point temperatures here in the southwest suburbs are up. Still feeling very tropical, so we're going to be on the watch for those storms to fire. But look at the drop in the dew point as we get into Friday, Saturday, a gorgeous weekend where we lower the humidity levels, but what a contrast in temperature. It is 92 in Valparaiso, 89 in Joliet, only 69 degrees in Waukegan. So we have that cool air north, 90 in the Quad Cities to the south and west. And Futurecast tonight shows after 10 o'clock, we will watch through the overnight those gusty showers and storms to move through. Here's daybreak. We may start with thunder, but end up with a beautiful afternoon for your Friday evening. Heading into Saturday, so nice. I hope you have plans for Saturday. And then on Sunday, there's a tiny chance of rain, mainly for the front half of the day. But we're going to turn things around for us. But we just have to brace for some rain tonight. Yes. And then we're in the clear after tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, rocky few days, but calmer ones ahead. The thank prize you. is your weekend. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mary Kay.